Blessings, 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 blessings of the Lord be upon you and your house. This is the day the Lord has made. And we will continue to rejoice and be glad in it. Hello, everybody. Sending a shout of blessings to you and your house. Please do us all a favor by inviting your friends and loved ones and be a blessing to somebody. All right. Share the broadcast, like the broadcast, and uh, be a blessing to somebody as well. All right. Let's get this thing done. Make it beautiful. And um, it is my prayer that all is well with you and your house. All is well with you and your house. Share the broadcast and be a blessing to somebody. All right, let's do that. Let's do that and be a blessing. Listen, um, I have something to discuss with you that I believe will be a blessing to you to bring you to a place of thinking. Like somebody said, to have a sila moment. To have a sila moment as to the, the Christian liberty. All right, when we talk about Christian liberty, what exactly are we talking about as Christian liberty? What is Christian liberty? What is the liberty of the Christian? And so we're going to be looking at that today, and uh, it is my sincere prayer that you hang in there and um, receive this, this message that will be a blessing to you and share it with somebody. Be a blessing to somebody at this time. All right, be a blessing to somebody. What is the Christian liberty? What is what 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 is what is all these things about about Christians? Well, we we're gonna find out something that is so sweet and important for our growth and increase. Let me send a shout of blessings to you out there. Um Michael, let's send a shout of blessings to you. Michael has sent a shout of blessings to you and your house. All right. And um, come on, invite some, invite your friends and loved ones. Be a blessing to somebody. All right. Be a blessing to somebody. And uh, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Uh, who is on here now? Let's, let's invite friends and loved ones. Give ourselves a minute or two and be a blessing to somebody. Now, when we talk about the Christian liberty, we need to have a clear understanding of that, okay? We have to have a clear understanding of the Christian liberty. So, therefore, therefore, we have to check some scriptures and to see what scripture tells us about Christian liberty. Panky Chenario, sending a shout of blessings to you. Good evening to you in India. Namaste. Namaste in India. Please share the broadcast to your friends and loved ones out there in India. Somebody need to get this. Now, most of the times, it looks like um, lack of understanding is causing a lot of people or believers to be in a place where they... Um, are struggling, struggling to live this life. Okay, Michael, I send a shout of blessings to you as well. Praise the Lord to you. Uh, most of the time, we, because of lack of knowledge and lack of understanding, uh, we tend to, um, or Christians, some Christians, tend to be on the back tail of the stake. Why? Because you have no knowledge of understanding where you are. Christianity is not a boring lifestyle. It's not a boring lifestyle. If you really understand understand it, uh, you will realize that you, you are actually positioned as a child of God, a child of the king. And therefore, I mean, how many, how many children of the king do you see, you know, um, uh, not, not, not enjoying life, uh, but lack of knowledge will, will put you in that place of disadvantage. Okay, let's look at some scriptures here. Come with me to Philippians um, chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4. I, I'm going to go straight to 
the point here for the sake of our time to make some sense of what we we looking at. Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4, let's pick it up from the fourth verse down. Look at that. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Now, who is this scripture making reference to? Rejoice in the Lord always. Not sometimes, but always. But always. Not sometimes. Rejoice in the Lord always. Now, if you lack the understanding thereof of this then you will be cutting yourself short of what you're supposed to be rejoicing. Scripture says, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. The Lord has made the day. You didn't do it. You can do it. Have no clue how to even put anything together for that matter. And so it's done for you. And what you ought to do is to rejoice and be glad in it. But yet, you are fretting, you are complaining, you are murmuring, you are all that. And you see what scripture says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 4. Look at that. Rejoice in the Lord always. Rejoice in the Lord always. Rejoice in the Lord always. Always. Why you got to rejoice in the Lord always? Well, because that is where you're, you're, you're going to find, that is where you're going to find who you are outside the confines of pressure. That is where you're going to find your liberty in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord always. Beloved, I'm, I'm telling you something. Try you know, starting to be in the Lord always to rejoice. You're going to see that, well, the world is out there with its own problems and the world has to handle its problems. But you're going to stay in the Lord and rejoice in the Lord always. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, 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 I will say rejoice. Again, I will say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, rejoice in the Lord always. If you rejoice in the Lord sometimes when all is well and dandy, well, when the, the, the wind is, is, is passing by, you're going to have some problems. And uh, with the tendency of you starting to blame somebody will be so eminent. But if you learn to rejoice, what, what does it mean to rejoice? What, what does it really mean to rejoice always in the Lord? In other words, you position yourself in a place where you cut off. Okay, listen, the world is full of problems. The world is full of of calamities the world is full of challenges and so scripture is telling you to rejoice in the Lord always because if outside the Lord you're going to have problems you see that the, the, uh, the scenario where Jesus told Peter you know to come towards him on the water on the high seas scripture says that as long as Peter received the command from Jesus and began to walk towards Jesus, he was all right. But when Peter took his eyes off Jesus and began to look around him, the world that is around him, he began to have problems. That's exactly what it is. If you stop rejoicing in the Lord, you are going to see nothing but problems. That's what you're going to see. Because the world is full of problems. The world is full of challenges. The world is full of chaos. So if you take yourself out of rejoicing in the Lord, because in the Lord is nothing but freedom, liberty, and a place where you can have your peace. 
So scripture says rejoice in the Lord always. Rejoice in the Lord always, not sometimes. Always, because if you take yourself out of that place, that confines, you're going to have problems. I, I, I think that the understanding of, of this lifestyle, it's very simple that, you know, you, you just need somebody to help you misunderstand it. Probably need the devil to help you misunderstand. He says, look at the scripture. Philippians chapter 4, look at verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let and continue, watch this. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. And now watch this now. Be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God. Now when you find yourself rejoicing in the Lord always. You ain't going to be anxious for anything. You're not going to be anxious for nothing. When you are rejoicing in the Lord always, you, pos you are in the position where, where, you know, the, the pressures of the world does not put you in the place where you are anxious for things. Where you see that you think somebody is going ahead of you and therefore you need to, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a competition. You need to also try and, and, and beloved, no, 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 that's not what it is. When you find yourself rejoicing in the Lord always, you don't have no room or time to see that which puts you in the place of being anxious. This morning I was sharing with my, my little girl. She was anxious about, you know, something. With, with, I, said, I said, hey, baby, baby, baby girl, slow down. You're going to find it. I mean, this, this, you know, and, um, uh, a, a new uh, uh, room, classroom that they are moving them to because of some exams that, and she has to get in there and, and that, I don't know, I have to go. I said, slow down, slow down and read the text that has been sent to you. It says that go to this block and go to this room. That is it. The instructions are there. But immediately you heard, oh, you have been moved, your class is moved to another block, and now you need to find that, that, that room where you have to go. You became anxious. That we got to go to school on time. We got to go on time. I have to find it. I said, girl, girl, slow down. Read the lines. Read what is said to you. Go to this block. Go to this room in the block. It's a simple, straightforward. She was this anxious, and I was not going to allow her anxiousness to get me to speed or to, you know, disobey the traffic laws of the land. I am just comfortably enjoying myself in the Lord. Because this is the day the Lord has made and I am going to rejoice and be glad in it. Guess what? I drop her off school within two minutes when I was driving off. She sent me a text uh, that I found the, the class. I said, I told you. She was so anxious that when I drop her off, instead of going through the main entrance of the of the building she was going to open the side door and she found out that the side door was locked beloved when you are anxious you make mistakes and so you see when you find yourself rejoicing in the lord norma hey send a shout of blessings to you norma in your house when you find yourself rejoicing in the lord 
you don't become anxious. The fine lines are here. Hey, Opie, sending a shout of blessings to you. Good morning to you as well. The fine, listen, look at the fine lines. It says, rejoice, Philippians chapter 4. Look at verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always, not sometimes. Again, repeating, I say rejoice. Now, the reason is because we are surrounded by all manner of chaos, tribulations, things that, I mean, it's a, it's a literal struggle. The world is full of trouble, problems and troubles. And so as a believer, as a Christian, and that's why I titled this, Christian liberty. The Christian liberty is in the Lord. The Christian freedom is in the Lord. The Christian, you know, um, 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 freedom, that's it. Your victory is in the Lord. Beloved, you need to understand this. Believers need to understand this. Christians need to understand this. When you mind your own business, as, as uh, um, Thessalonians would say, mind your own business and your business is in the Lord, nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. But when you become a busybody, trying to, you know, mind people, you know, things that does not, call, you know, like somebody says, consign you. <laughs> then you become, then you will find yourself in, in problems, in challenges. Mind your own business. Your own business as a Christian is for you to be in the Lord. Look at verse 6. Therefore be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication. What is prayer? Action. Supplication. Okay? Just giving thanks. Praising God. Uh, uh, acknowledging who, who he is to you. And with thanksgiving. Let your request, the request that you have, let it be known to God. You see, and then the peace of God, get this revelation here. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Is the, is, the, is the gospel, is the scripture as simple as I am seeing it? Or there's more to it that I don't see? Because, beloved, if you obey what this is, if you go by this, rejoice in the Lord always. You got up this morning and you, you just know that you just know that this is the day the Lord has made. You didn't do it. This is the day the Lord has made. And all you have to do is to rejoice and be glad in it. Go about your business. Go to work. Go into work rejoicing. Thank you, Lord, for this brand new day. I, I don't know how the day came to be. First of all, you were dead a couple of hours before. You were dead. Dead me. I mean, you were asleep. Dead. Didn't even know where you were. But God, oh, glory be to God. But God has made this day for you to live, move, and have your being. It says rejoice. Now watch this now. And the peace of God, the peace of God, not the peace of the world. Beloved, you ain't going to find no peace in this world now. You ain't going to find that. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. Things that don't make no sense, but it passes all that. Will guard your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus. Get that revelation here. Now, finally, 
Finally, brethren, watch this verse 8. Whatever things are true, <laughs> whatever things are noble, whatever things, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, oh, I like that word, lovely, <laughs> whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, and if there is any praiseworthy, meditate, glory be to God, meditate on these things. Finally, finally, brethren, these are the things you need to meditate on. The things that are good, the things that are pure, the things that are praiseworthy, the things that are, I mean, oh, this, this, see, you want to enjoy your Christian life? This is it. Stay away from all these worldly troubles and all that. How do you do that? By rejoicing in the Lord always. Rejoicing in the Lord always. Philippians chapter 4 verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. By rejoicing in the Lord always, I am telling you, you are not going to have these problems. You are not going to see them. See, the problems are there. You need to understand that. The world is full of problems. The world is full of calamities. The world is full of tribulations. Jesus said that you're going to have that. It's, it's part of the world. But for you not to be in that state of worrying and being anxious and making mistakes and all that, rejoice in the Lord. Stay in the Lord. The things which you learned, verse 9, the things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, Philippians chapter 4, Paul says, these things, you do them. Do these things. And the God of peace will be with you. The God of peace will be with you. Do you want your peace? You find it in the Lord. Your liberty is found in the Lord. Share this broadcast. Like it. Please share it. Send it to somebody. Somebody is looking at, well, beginning of the week. Boy, what am I going to do? This week is, you know, this, that, 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 that. Beloved, listen. Listen. Why don't you just put to work the word of God? And, and see whether it works or not. Put to work. You know your situation. You know where you are. You know where things are. The word of God is telling you, rejoice in the Lord. Now, I know it's like you probably saying, well, Brother Patrick, you, you don't even know what I'm going through. You Man, I've not been able to take care of this bill. I mean, my bills are piling up. I have, I, I'm going through this. I'm going through that. Listen, listen, listen. I, I'm not, I'm not trying to be insensitive that you are not a real human being. I am showing you the antidote and the, and the direction in which the Lord's word is directing you to be. Do that one. Probably I've done everything else. You've done this A, B, C, that it doesn't seem to be working. Do this. Rejoice in the Lord. You, you can definitely, definitely, definitely think of something that God has done for you, for you to rejoice and thank him. Oh, by the way, whatever you are facing now is not the first time. You've seen something else that you didn't even think you're going to make it. Somehow, some way. You are still here this morning, this afternoon, evening, whatever your time may be, listening to me and looking at my handsome self. Uh oh. <laughs> However, listen, with all seriousness, if you can do what I'm telling you, according to the word of God, by rejoicing in the Lord always, beloved, you are going to see an environment. Of you that you will come to yourself you catch yourself 
and say, what? What happened? Beloved, the word of God is true. Don't let anybody fool you. The word of God is so, 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 so true. Yes, indeed. Be anxious for nothing. I've given you an example of my girl taking her to school this morning and she was so anxious about the message that came to her that, oh, her class is moved from this block to that block. And the instructions was there. Go to this block and in that block, go to this room. She be, she's so anxious that I've got to go to school. Da, 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 now we have to go. I said, girl, I am not moving by how anxious you are. The instructions are right there. When you get there, you're going to find it. As long as you are not late, you see. Scripture says, rejoice always in the Lord. Again, I say rejoice. Rejoice. Yes, I know everybody knows there are problems in the world. And if you put yourself in there, that's what you're going to find. We all know that. You're not the only person with problems of the world. <laughs> you are not the only one. But I'm here this day to share with you by scripture, by the word of God, that if you rejoice in the Lord, you're not going to be anxious for the things that will put you in a place of making mistakes. Ah, thank you, Opie. God bless you. Be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. Nothing means nothing. And that only happens when you are rejoicing in the Lord always. How would you even find time to be anxious for anything when you are rejoicing in the Lord always? How do you rejoice in the Lord? Give him thanks. Just give him thanks for what you're expecting. Give him thanks for what you want. Give him thanks for what you, you know, you are thinking of. You have not even asked him yet. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. With prayer and supplication and thanksgiving. Give him thanks. Come to that place of just knowing, just knowing, just knowing that you are in the right place with the right person before the right person and all that you need and want is going to be given to you. It's done. It's a done deal. Rejoice. Rejoice always. And again, I say rejoice. Your liberty, your freedom is in the Lord Jesus. You can tell me you're a Christian and um, you're just going to be allowing yourselves for the world's pressure to just consume you. Hmm? And when you allow yourself to be consumed by that, beloved, very soon you will see that your, your, your lifestyle has become, instead of rejoicing, it's become prayer of of attacks. Uh -huh. You are praying against. You are praying against. You are praying against. Think about the angels, you know, in heaven. Just think about that. You think, I, I'm not sure they're praying against anything, but other than just worshiping God, thanking him for who he is, making him all that he is. Oh, you are the Lord of all laws. You are the king of all kings. You are this, you Beloved, when you are rejoicing in the Lord, you ain't got no time thinking about who is what and what have you. Rejoice in the Lord. Enemies. Who care about enemies? Let them be. That's who they are. You are rejoicing in the Lord. Your concentration is more of the Lord than the enemy. I am telling you, this is why sometimes it, it baffles me. How do you say you are a Christian and all that I hear from your mouth is but from enemy, 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 enemy. That baffles me. It does. 
I don't, I mean, I hear maybe the name of Jesus once out of your mouth. But for the most part, it's about your enemies, your enemies. Who can, who, I mean, because you have time outside Christ. And when you are outside Christ, you go and see that. It's as simple. When you are outside, when you are outside him, you are going to see that. I gave you an example of Peter looking to Jesus and walking towards Jesus. He was doing something he has never done in his life as a professional fisherman. Walking on the sea, on the water. But when he took his eyes off to look around him, to the world around him, guess what? He began to drown. That is what happens. You take yourself outside Christ to begin to look around you. The troubles, that's what you're going to see, beloved. Troubles, hate, envy, backbiting, um, gossiping, uh, murder, uh, these, that, that. That's what you're going to see. But when you are focused, laser beam focused to re stay in the Lord, um, Colossians 2.10 will say, tell to, say to you that you are complete in Christ. Now, if you know you are complete in him, stay in him. Let's, let's learn to mind our own business. It will help you. It will help you. I hope you've learned something. Share it with your friends and loved ones. Be a blessing, all right, by sharing this broadcast. And um, I pray that you have a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, wherever your day, your time may be. And I thank you for making time with me today. This is all I have for you. Rejoice in the Lord always. If you are a Christian, as you call yourself one, or a child of God, this, this is it. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. When you do that, you will be anxious for nothing. You will not position yourself in a place where, man, I'm telling you, boy, 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 these things are so surreal. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And let men know the gentleness of you. They will know by your rejoicing in the Lord they will look at you like this. What's, go what's going on? I mean, we all thinking about, I mean, how the economy is going. Da, 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 but you smiling and you, you know, hey, what, what's the secret? Well, the secret is that I am in the Lord. I am in the Lord. I have found the secret place of the Most High. <laughs> Woo! Are you getting this, this revelation here? You find yourself in the secret place of the Most High and stay right there and rejoice. Amen. Amen. Well, it's also called a relationship. And that's why you need to have that relationship with the Lord Jesus. You, you believe in Him and you receive Him. Then you stay in Him to rejoice always. So if you have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, receive him in your heart, that is. You can do that right now. How do you do that? Bible tells you and I to believe him in our heart and make that confession of what we believe from our mouth. That God raised him from the dead and you'll be saved. So that's what you're going to do. Let's pray that prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for this teaching and message. Forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. Be the Lord and Savior of my life. Jesus, I believe you. I believe you in my heart. And I confess you with my mouth. That God raised you from the dead. Now, Lord Jesus, baptize me with your spirit. The Holy Spirit. That I may fulfill the purposes of my being according to the will of God. Thank you. Amen. Beloved, that's it. That's all you have to do. Now, what you believe, you don't let it go. 
And so, stay in him. You see what we read in scripture? Rejoice in the Lord. You cannot rejoice outside him. You got to be in him. So stay in him. Stay in the Lord. Let his spirit continue to guide and lead you to all truth. It's going to be well with you as you continue to stay there. I want to thank you for making time with me today. All right. Um, invite your friends and loved ones. Share this broadcast to your friends and loved ones. Somebody might be going through something, but they need to hear this. It's, it is well. It is well. It is well. As we stay in the Lord and rejoice in him, we will not be having time to look and see all the problems. The world is full of problems. Everybody knows that. The world is full of challenges. Everybody knows that. The world is full of chaos. Everybody knows that. So, when you stay in the world and be looking in the things of the world, that's what you're going to see. But God is giving you and me a way out of the situation. It says rejoice in the Lord always. If you ever forget that, Look, come to Philippians chapter 4 and the fourth verse. Re rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. The sixth verse down will tell you, when you do that, you will be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. But in all areas, just by prayer and supplication and with thanksgiving, make your request known to the Lord. And trust me, you're going to get your answers. Mm -hmm. He's a way maker. And so he's giving you and I a way to come out of the world and stay in him. To have a better environment. So you get up in the morning and say, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And the rest of the day as you go about your, your, your daily activities, just keep rejoicing. Rejoicing rejoicing in him that he, he has given you the ability to be able to do what you are doing. Oh yeah. God wants to see us rejoicing. Not being anxious. Not wasting all the time in, in praising him and rejoicing in him. To be looking out and to be seeing things that puts us in a place where it makes us forget. Of who he is. It's my prayer. And hope. That this message has been a blessing to you. Make it a blessing to somebody. Bless somebody with it. Alright. Bless somebody with it. And um, I look forward to seeing you. Very soon. You can go to our website. And get to know us a little bit. By. Um, tapping this information. www dot patrick quino q u a i n o o global ministries dot org patrick quino global ministries dot org you can get there and see a little bit more about this man this ministry i also would like to encourage you to subscribe to our youtube channel this message will be there okay again among others subscribe so you can get more messages that will increase you and get you out of seeing and focusing on the things of the world and stay and rejoice in the Lord always because that's where your liberty is that's where your freedom is there are, there are those who see their freedom in music there are those who see their freedom in other things. Our freedom is in Christ Jesus. Jesus has set us free by paying the price of our sins and bringing us to the place of righteousness. I thank you for making time with me. I look forward to seeing you soon. And remember, as always, you don't have no trouble. All you need is your faith in God and in all you're getting 
get understanding. I'll see you soon. God bless you.